Do the benefits of your hyperbaric session end the moment your session ends? Or do the benefits continue on past the session time? That's what we're gonna discuss in this next video. So how long do the benefits of hyperbaric actually last? Well, I'm gonna break that into two categories. We'll say short-term and long-term. We've talked at length about how hyperbaric works, why hyperbaric works, and how hyperbaric creates this increased capacity for oxygen absorption. And that ultimately, rather than relying on red blood cells for oxygen delivery, hyperbaric is dissolving oxygen into the plasma of the blood, creating a reservoir of excess oxygen that isn't normally present. The reason we're able to do that is because increased atmospheric pressure has the capacity to drive more oxygen into your circulation. The moment you leave that pressurized environment, there is no more excess pressure holding that excess oxygen in your circulation. So as soon as you get out of that chamber, the oxygen begins a process of coming out of solution. But when it does that, it's not inert. It's actually very therapeutic. And in fact, I would say half of the treatment is the time you spend in the chamber. The other half of the treatment is the next handful of hours after the fact, because that's when all this oxygen is coming out of circulation and interacting with your cells. And there's tremendous benefit for that. How long does that process go? Partially, part of the answer to that question is dependent on how much pressure were you being exposed to, what percentage of oxygen were you breathing, and the amount of time you stayed in that chamber. The next level of it depends is different tissues utilize oxygen at different rates. As an example, your brain is one of the most metabolically active tissues that we have. It's only about 2% of your body mass, but it uses up 20% of your oxygen. So brain cells are utilizing and metabolizing oxygen very quickly versus, let's say, adipose tissue, fat cells, metabolize oxygen very, very slowly. So different tissues are going to use up that oxygen at different rates. And so depending on how much you created in that reservoir, which tissue we're talking about metabolizing the oxygen, those are going to determine how long it actually stays in your system. But you can certainly assume somewhere between on the low end, four hours, and on the high end, 12 hours would be the amount of time that that oxygen is in circulation and starting to come out to interact with your cells. You can picture this a lot like a bottle of seltzer. So in that case, they're using carbon dioxide, we're using oxygen, and they're using water, we're using plasma. But either way, we're taking a gas, we're pressurizing the gas, and we're dissolving that into a liquid. If you had a bottle of seltzer and you open that cap, a lot of bubbles come up right away. So the most the highest percentage of off-gassing happens, let's say, in that first half hour. But if you came back an hour later, there might be less bubbles, but it's still carbonated. You would still have that carbonated experience. And over the course of a day, more and more of those bubbles will come out eventually. At some point, that glass will become water. Likewise, at some point, your body will go back to its baseline amount of oxygen once all of that oxygen off-gassing occurs. If you find this information helpful, please like it, share it, subscribe. It helps us get our message to the next person asking the same question. On the other side is the long-term benefits. So as a result of repetitive hyperbaric exposures, let's just say five hours a week for eight weeks, and so you accumulated your 40 hours of therapy, a lot of changes have taken place in your cells. Inflammation has changed. Stem cells have been released. Telomeres potentially have grown. You have a lot of really long-lasting effects of that repetitive exposure. How long do those last? Again, we don't know the full answer to this, but in research that has at least looked past one week, two week, three week, we certainly know that in many cases, you can start to see a rise in certain improvements over the course of care. And even when you pull the therapy, there's often at least an extra four to six weeks of in continued improvement before it starts to turn the corner and come back down. So you're looking at a minimum of at least four weeks, probably at least six to even eight weeks before you're back to maybe closer to baseline. And so for a lot of people, depending on what we're trying to accomplish, you might do a course of care, take a break for that eight weeks, get back to a baseline level. You could even ride that out for a while and then do another big protocol, take it up a notch and ride that next wave out. You know, again, just depending on what those goals are, you might create these short-term benefits where you're getting let's say four to eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours of increased oxygenation, which can help with short-term benefits like increased ATP, cellular energy, improved immune response, reducing inflammation, reducing the stress response. And then we could have these long-term where we've treated for a month or two, created these real massive changes cellularly, and now those are gonna continue for weeks and even months after the therapy's over. I hope this helps answer a little bit about how long do the benefits actually last from hyperbaric. 
There's a lot more research that needs to be done. In fact, we're even doing some of that research right now in our clinic. As soon as that information is available, we'll certainly be sharing it. Thanks for your attention. We'll see you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.